Hi, my name is Justin AK Ghost Reader, and today I am going to be doing a tag, and that tag is the mixed bag tag. I was tagged to do this by Jessica. I'm going to leave a link down in below to uh, her channel, and uh, basically she uh, originated this tag, and well, she's the originator of this tag, and she basically uh, did this tag um, in order to uh, promote diversity and also to uh, find. Uh, in order for us to provide other people with some recommendations we, be, we may have on diverse books. So, um, and, and in terms of diversity, this is all types. So whether that be disability, um, your sexual identity, your race, uh, and things like that. So um, I have the list of questions here, which I'll also put down in the description. And I uh, just wanna let you all know that if you're watching this video, uh, if you are watching and you wanna do this tag, you are henceforth tagged and you should do it. So let's go ahead and get into the questions. So question number one is, uh, who are you? So uh, sometimes I'm hat one, sometimes I'm uh, hat number two, and every once in a while, but very, very rarely, I am hat number three. So that's the answer to the first question. Question number two is, when was the first time you saw yourself in the book? And honestly, I don't have an answer to this question. Uh, when? Um, I just know that I read um, a lot when I was younger and at some point in time I slipped myself into the book but it's kind of just felt like it's, it was always there so I don't really know when exactly uh, I first saw myself uh, in like a, in a, a book that I enjoyed so uh, question number three and question number three is what is a book that you love that was placed in a different country or written by author in a different country and for this um, I want to highlight the Ding Around Your Neck by Chiamana Ngozi Adichie. Um, she, I talked about this book because I read it last month, and um, this was a great book. It's a series of short stories. Some of them are set in Nigeria, uh, and basically they all talk about the immigrant experience and also experience of living in Nigeria as well. And most of the stories in this book are actually told from the uh, perspective of Nigerian women. Uh, question number four is what is a underrated diverse book that you love that needs more attention and for that book I have uh, here I stand by Paul Robeson uh, Paul Robeson was a great a great man. He um, was an alumni of my um, old alma mater Rutgers University He uh, played on the football team. Uh, he was really big on stage and in movies um, and basically this book is kind of his autobiography and also explains why he became a communist and then some of the injustices that he felt that he faced because he was a communist um, and so um, basically he, he, he basically says that things were really unjust here um, in the United States and that he saw that he would have um, that communism to him look better of course now we know that communism at least in Russia at the time was very bad and wasn't uh, I, I would say it wasn't much better than the United States I think actually I would say the United States was a bit better but for someone who's African-American in the United States uh, a place where at least on the surface they said that you know we're all in this together uh, regardless of, of who you are um, it was definitely more appealing than the injustices that he was would, was facing here in the United States and so he mainly lived a lot of his life abroad and I think uh, that the United States revoked his passport at one point and he talks at length about that and how that was uh, affected him and and also since he was kind of blacklisted too because he was a communist and how that affected his career and things like that so I really like this book um, and uh, yeah so I, I don't really hear a lot of people talking about it I got this as a gift and I think this is a underrated book that I think um, talks to this that that's a good read uh, question number five uh, what book have you read that has great LGBTQ rep um, for this I'm going to say the song of Achilles by Madeline Miller uh, Madeline Miller also wrote Cersei which was great this was actually the first book that I read by Madeline Miller I think it's also her first book and um, basically uh, this talks about um, Patricus, um, who is Achilles' uh, best friend and eventually his lover, um, and it basically uh, gives some backstory to the story that is um, popularly told in the Iliad, and you kind of see um, how their relationship develops, and I thought it was a really good uh, representation for LGBTQ uh, relationships, and um, so yeah, so that was my pick for this particular one. I actually really like Madame Miller's writing. She did great on this book, and she also did great on Cersei, so if you haven't read, um, if you haven't read one, either of these two books, um, I say you definitely uh, read them. Question number six, uh, what book features a character with a different cultural background than you that you love? And for this, I'm gonna say Menti of 
um, from Menti from the Menti trilogy by Nidia Okora for it. Um, it's a series of three novellas, and um, basically set in uh, set in the in the future, and and starts out in the African country. I don't think the country's ever stated, but it starts out with an African girl. She's very um, smart and basically it moves into space and where she goes to this big university where it's a lot of different species go there for education um and she basically goes on this um journey throughout these three novellas and she changes during that time too and i really like the menti uh series i like what nadia chlorophore did um weaving um biotechnology and also um african lore into uh the story and i really like this great afro uh, um a great um, sci-fi series written by an uh, African uh, author, African descent. Question seven: uh, What do you want? What do what do you want to see represented more in books? Uh, I'm not. I don't think I have a, actually have an answer for this question. To be honest, um, I would like to see more um, authors of color get the chance to get their works published, um, and so I think that. Once that happens, and basically all types of stories, uh, if they're really good, and um, I think deserve to be published, whether the the author is a person of color, or has a disability, or um, or anything, if they have a good story, I think it should be published, and I think we'll see a lot more great stories featuring different types of people. So yeah. Uh, question number eight is what is your favorite diverse book ever and for that that is Americana by Chiamanda Ngozi Adichie um, and uh, this was the first book I read by of, of hers I read this last year and it's one of my favorite books of all time um, basically this is about a Nigerian girl who basically um, she grows up in Nigeria and then comes here to the United States and it's about her learning to live in the United States and come to terms with the fact that she's Nigerian, but she's also, um, at least in America, she's considered black. So there are some uh, things that are expected of her from the black community, but also stereotypes that are kind of put on her because she's African and uh, black by um, white people. So how she navigates that and basically becomes a, her own woman. I was a sport in this book and it's really uh, good for me, and a uh, good read for me, and I really, really enjoyed it, it's actually one, that, one of my favorite books of all time, and definitely my favorite uh, diverse book. Question number nine, what is a diverse book that you're looking forward to coming out to? So for me, uh, I don't really keep up with new releases a lot, I think the only new release I'm keeping up with comes out in like 2021, and that's a non-fiction history book, so, uh, but one book that actually just came out, um, that I would if I was like really into new releases, and I'm actually kind of thinking about get, picking up this book anyway, uh, is um, With the Fire on High, and that's written by Elizabeth um, Acevia, uh, Sabato, and um, I hope I said the last name right, and basically she wrote uh, Poet X, which was amazing, um, read it as an audio book, and that was simply amazing. Um, and so I would definitely pick up another book by hers. And this just came out. I think this came out on the 7th. So, uh, yeah. So this will be a new release that I would look forward to reading. So uh, what diverse book are you reading right now? That's on question number 10. And for that, um, I am reading uh, Miracle Creek by Angie Kim. And this book is really great. I thought it was going to be kind of a really simple run the mill uh, like mystery story um, and it is that but it also has really great discussions about um, what it is to take care of a disabled child and I think that can actually be um, I think this experience can also kind of be blanketed towards just what it is to be like a caregiver for someone who can't really care for themselves uh, and it, it really has some really good discussions about that through the inner eternal monologues of the mothers of some of these some of these disabled children so um that was really interesting and actually has read a lot to the book i'm really enjoying this book and i'm kind of glad uh i um that the discord book club that i'm part of is reading this book this month and number 11 is tag people but since i don't really like jessica telling me um to do stuff i'm not going to tag anyone in particular so if you're watching this video consider yourself tag um definitely put your uh, videos up and tag her in your videos on twitter if you're on twitter so let her know that you done her tag because she really wants people uh, to do her tag so if you like this video please hit the like button if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe you can follow me on twitter at ghostreads28 and also on goodreads the link to that is down in the description box below 
So as always, keep reading.